Halloween never ends. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Yeah. Halloween's still a couple of months away. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's still a couple of months away. <laughs> Are we professionals and where do you store it? This is a too many questions. Are you professional? Are you professional like film or whatever? Well, yeah, where do you store it? I say in my dad's house. turn this thing on, it moves just kind of back and forth, like so. Now this is, it has varying speeds. This is a sex machine from my workplace. I'll let your mind fill in the blanks, but we had this spare one kicking around the warehouse that we're going to throw away. Was it yeah. used? No. <laughs> <coughs> no, I, it, it, it arrived at our warehouse with defective packaging, and so we couldn't uh, sell it. Okay. So I thought, wow, I could probably find a use for this somewhere in my Halloween hunt. And, uh, Quite a resourceful mind. <laughs> last year, I had it hooked up to a motion sensor that was, and it was rigged to the rocking chair that the old crazy granny sat in. And, it scares the crap out of more people than probably less raised it. So it, was a, it was a very successful prop. <clears throat> Did you hear that? Listening to that rain out there is precisely the reason why I spent a few thousand dollars last year building a, an enclosed shed for my haunt. Because I've spent many a years out in the rain, under a tarp, under some cheap canopy tent that just barely keeps you dry, but doesn't really keep your props dry. Water still gets in. And I can tell you from first-hand experience that nothing beats working undercover, completely dry, where you don't have to worry about your props, you can set up your lighting, your electrical, all that, and you don't have to worry about water. And then here's our vampire hands. Yeah. They're gonna get airbrushed. Do some fine detailing with the painting. It's getting cramped in this garage. Oh yeah. More importantly, hmm. where is the Nicholas Cage head cake? <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Doesn't it look like him? I'd never thought of it until now, but really? now that you mention it, yeah, it kind of does like look. Anyway, that's behind the uh, green screens there. Oh. All Can't even get a shot of it. Act in there. More and more Halloween shit. Yeah. Nice oh. and hard. They are not complete yet. We still have some of that paper mache left, so we could actually do like a groove around the nail too. <laughs> Yeah, I think we could just probably glue something on. And then put them in the knuckles <laughs> so that we could add little skin lines. Because uh -huh. yeah. you got all the time in the world. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I met this guy online. Yeah. yeah. What? Maybe in the embalming room? 
<laughs> the embalming room. <laughs> Neighbor too. Yeah. <laughs> no, I met this guy online two years ago when I was in desperate need of some uh, sound effects for my No, pitch. the guy who did the witch. Witch house? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he offered up, he's a sound guy, he does this for a living somewhere, for some film studio or something. And anyway, we've kept in touch over each year, and he did some more stuff for me last year for the Hack Shack, and I've been talking with him again. He wants to do some more stuff for this year's thing. He wants to do some organ music in the funeral parlor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool. That'll work. Handy. So. Oh. Hey, Hutch. Jeff says hi. <laughs> I'm going to try and focus on getting these walls more or less covered. This way, when the first thing when people walk in here, besides the props and everything else, is they'll see a blood splattered wall, an old trash wreck looking wall. We'll probably paint it here a darker color so it doesn't look so new. And we'll just camouflage the entire place. I know that that first 2x4 piece goes up 35 inches. So you won't get my hands. I won't. Just don't keep your fingers on that side. What side? The side that I'm coming from. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was you and you were going to do it. It's always the same screen. <laughs> Prediction? A prediction? Yeah, when? When's it gonna be done? Oh, well. This section? Uh, depending on how how successful this weekend is, I mean, I'm hoping we'll have a large portion of it done by the end of this long weekend, right? By the end of Monday, come the end of Monday, um, I'm sure there'll still be some things that need to be done, but. I'm hoping to have the majority of it complete. <laughs>